Hello everyone and welcome back to NPC Dungeon. Today's episode is going to be kind of short because I know I've already covered this topic before. If you want to hear more about it, I'll leave links to my episodes on how to deal with troublesome players and how to help your DM as a player. But I still thought this point deserved its own episode. It's the dreaded, it's what my character would do phrase. First, I'm going to go over why the phrase should pretty much never come up, so why it's based on some pretty faulty logic, and then I'm going to go over what we as DMs can do about it. So let's learn something. So why do people say it's what my character would do? Usually it comes up after they do something that either holds the game back or causes some kind of problem and then they say it's what my character would do to justify it. Sure, your character might have done that, but you my friend are still a person playing a game. Why would you do something that would hold that up and stop others from having fun? All too often this phrase is used to excuse extreme actions like attacking random NPCs that in most typical situations would never actually happen so your character probably wouldn't have done that. And for you, question, why would you do that? Well, either you just want to or you made a character who doesn't match the collaborative type of game that you're playing. I don't want to tell you what kind of characters to make, but it's generally a bad idea to make a really standoffish lone wolf kind of character who doesn't want to do anything with the story or the party. So what kinds of characters should you make? Literally any other type. Again, I'm not going to tell you what kind of character to make. Just find a reason for them to engage with the story. If you find yourself in a situation where you're about to hold the game up by interrogating a random NPC, trying to tame some random animal, or trying to steal some random item, try to think of something else your character would do. And this is the key, because you're your character never has just one thing they would do. Pick something that is a little closer to the story and helps with the other players. Be a team player. But what if you're the DM and you keep running into this? Well, you can greatly minimize this before the game even starts by helping your players make backstories that are tied into the game and into the story. This is usually a pretty good way of just keeping them engaged, but it also helps push whatever actions that they might do toward the flow of the story. Things they do will then be less likely to move away from that because they're already built into it. Another thing that I like to do before this even starts is to make sure that the world that the campaign takes place in will react in a realistic way. This kind of sets a precedent for what will happen if your players do things that are maybe less than okay. Maybe they'll get arrested if they try to steal something. Maybe they'll make enemies. If they try to tame every single animal, eventually they'll get attacked. And if they interrogate every single NPC like an old crime show, eventually they'll also make some enemies. Or at least lose some help real quick. But again, I want to say, I don't do this in order to stop this. I do it before it even happens because it's a realistic thing to happen in the world. And another quick word of warning, be sure not to target any of your players. If the world reacts one way to one player, it should react in the same way to all of them. Be fair. But what about when it does happen? Because you sometimes will get players that still just want to derail things. How do you react to that? Well, I only know of one solution to this. Talk to them about it. Tell them what they're doing in an unambiguous way and tell them why it's causing a problem. Be calm, be kind, and be mature about it. And don't do it in front of other players if you can help it. You're not trying to embarrass them. And if they need help, help them work on their backstory, their motivations, and help them modify that if need be so that they can be more engaged in the story. And if that doesn't work, and if they don't stop, or if they try to argue with you, then it might be time to tell them this isn't the group for them. And that's it for today. I know it ended up being kind of short like I said it would, but I hope you found it helpful and useful nonetheless. As always, thanks for watching. Feel free to check out this week's other video. It's the final episode in the first campaign that I ever started telling stories from on this channel. And come back next week where I'll talk a little bit about mysteries and tell a story about a mystery that I ran a while ago. So until then, let's learn something.